Hello YouTube, it's me again, Iron Bloke, and today I am playing Isle 2 1946. What you see in front of you is a mission that I have created. This is an illustrious class carrier, and what you see on deck are fairy swordfish Mark 1s. I am not a fairy swordfish, as you can quite clearly see. You can't fly them, unfortunately, otherwise, well, they'd be great. Um, what I am are ME109s. Oh dear, they switch on the awesome pilot and nearly crash, which is fun. So, see what uh, units there are? It is literally just me and 109s for Germany. And for Great Britain, <laughs> you have uh, Fairy Swordfish, if I speed up the time. You'll see them all take off, and some new units get deployed on the aircraft carrier. Taking off. Now I'll set the time to normal and the new units will be brought on deck. There we go. So you can see I've got another free fairy swordfish. And those aircraft there. In fact, I'll go and have a look at them. Yeah. Those aircraft there are fairy formers. They are uh, carrier based RF, well, fleet air arm fighters. I love the way they fold their wings out. It looks really cool. Awesome. So you might be wondering what what uh, what are they doing? What's their objective? What's their missions? So these fleet tower arm aircraft are going to attack a very small Axis convoy, which we are defending. You can see the convoy down there. We're just patrolling the skies above until they arrive. It'd be more interesting to have a look at the swordfish forming up, what have you. It took a while to get this right, it's really difficult. Um, uh, because when you add torpedoes or any sort of ordnance onto any aircraft, it automatically slows them down uh, and also adjusts their speed, the time and what have you. So the first few missions they were flying in a straight line, as in one squadron behind another, and I could not get them to form up, like you can see here, into uh, formation. So I had to slow down the lead plane to uh, almost a crawl to let the other aircraft catch up. So the Fairy Swordfish is a biplane torpedo bomber, as you can see, it has a crew of three. This is a Swordfish Mark 1 because it has no hard points under the wings. Now, hard points are for drop, uh, dropping uh, bombs or flares or rockets. Uh, they were fondly known as string bags by the men who flew them, and the Swordfish was the primary torpedo attack aircraft for the Royal Navy in World War II. Uh, there was a replacement. Um, Oh, Fairy Albacore. The Fairy Albacore tried to replace this but didn't do the job as well. And this aircraft goes back to 1936. Those there are Fairy Formers. They are Royal Naval Fighters. They came into the service in 1941. Oh, I correct myself, 1940. And uh, they were the sort of navalised version of the Fairy Battle in, in its most simplest form. Now let's have a look what we are. I am an ME109 uh, E7B, so uh, based in Norway. I've got twin 20mm cannons in the wing and MG151s in the nose. Ah, can you see those dots over there? I think you'll find those are swordfish. Swordfish are responsible for sinking many vessels, including the Bismarck, they helped destroy her, and the famous raid on Taranto in Italy. Uh, the Taranto raid uh, is what the Japanese based their Pearl Harbor attack on. So you can see down there you've got the swordfish in formation, and up above the ferry formers. Now ferry formers, as you might be able to see in a few minutes, are not up to uh, the standards of the 109. So let's I'll probably go for the formers first, and 
and then go for the swordfish. The swordfish are pips to shoot down. Look at that guy up there. Oh, look at that kill. Straight away. Down he goes. Oh, and I've got one on my tail. But, I, as you can see, I'm able to sort of out turn them, even though I'm being hit. And out move them. Now, I'm fairly confident that my wingmen probably would be able to deal with them, because they are not the best fighters in the world. I think I'm going to go after some string bags. As you can see, they're going very low level, and they're actually going into the attack. The ships are over there, it's two dry cargo vessels and two metal torpedo boats. Awesome. Go for, for a quick loop. Now this is like the fourth incarnation as well of this mission. It, it took a, a long while to get the sort of... Uh, the, no, I'd, I'd say the fairness correct. Uh, because they were originally attacking a close defense ship, but it was far too easy for them to be shot down. So I thought, sod it. As you can see, they're very, very easy to shoot down. There's already a few there, but a crash of their own accord. But my wingman. So there's only three now going in for the kill. All the others have either been shot down by the ships or shot down by me. Oh, all that kind of ammo. What's that sort of they're doing? Crashing. <laughs> Explosion. I have a bad feeling though they will be able to torpedo them. Like I said that though, they're peeling away. So I don't think they've dropped their ordnance. Oh, no, they have, but there's a torpedo. The lead uh, swordfish just dropped his torpedo, and it blew up, and set him on fire. Oh dear. Better luck next time, swordfish. Just the one plane left now, and that looks like it's... It's either circling because it's going to crash, or it's turning back to uh, attack. Drop the torpedo. I think it's going to crash. But we shall see. I don't think I need to shoot up anymore. Hit down he goes. Can't wheel again. So, for this time, it was a success. So, uh, I'll speed up a little bit so I don't crash and burn. But you can see down there that there are two dry cargoes and two motor torpedo boats. I think we shot them all down, which is very good. Very, very good. That big one there's the dry cargo. Uh, this is the other big one, and then the two torpedo boats. Oh, hello, torpedo. Goodness. There's one swordfish. Most definitely gone. Put some master pilot on so I can have a quick look at what. Oh, there's a former. See what damage that's had. Maybe it quite badly. One swordfish, which is on fire. And the other swordfish which ditched. The pilot was killed. Surprise the ditch. Okay. So there you go. That was another mission made by iCloak. I'll very quickly show you the workings. So there you go. So they take off from the carrier, they're going for the attack. You can see the squiggle where I patrol. I then fly off and then when they land well obviously they're dead so they didn't get a chance this time around so um, I might make a making of tutorial I tried one earlier but it wasn't very good um, 
and maybe the next time I make a mission this complicated, I'll just leave it recording so you can have a look at what I do. But for the meantime, this has been Iron Bloke, and thanks for watching. Until the next time.